Okay, so in this question, we have a, uh, a pendulum which swings back and forth. Um, usually the idea behind a pendulum is you have a very long cable and it, it's going to pivot on a point. Um, so we can sort of mark that one right here. And um, back in the distance that it goes back and forth, it just swings um, uh, left to right in a, in a constant, um, constant cycle. So what we're really looking at here is we're looking at a triangle. So let's just look at some of the dimensions here. We have a 15 meter cable. So that's 15 meters on both ends and where it's attached to a point. And what it says is when the sphere swings, it's 1.4 meters from where it begins. So if you think what it's doing here is it's connecting, put two dots and mark that in as 1.4 meters. Now when the pendulum really swings, there's a bit of an arc that happens, but from the question, it's really implying that the, the distance between the two points on of the, um, of the ball on the end of the, uh, the wire is 1.4 meters apart. So this is the setup for this question. And then what we need to find here is what is the angle formed at the top of the pendulum? So we're looking for this angle here. So I'll just call that one X. Okay, so this is another example. We have a triangle where the, the formation of the triangle is a, can be thought of as um, side, 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 but we do have an angle in the middle here of the two sides, and we know the opposite length of the, of the missing angle. Okay, so we could think of this as being like a side angle side case again, except we don't know what the angle is, but we do know what the distance is on the opposite side. So we could set this up using the cosine law again, because what we're looking to find is the value for the angle X, but we know the other three um, lengths. We don't know what the other angles here are, would be at the base um, of this triangle. So this is we, we don't have anything else to compare it to because we're just looking to find one, one angle, which is X. So if we set this up, we can say, um, well, we'll get, let's just label a few things here. I'm gonna call this side A, this side B. I'm gonna, and then this is the angle for X, but we, we know what X is here. The side X is gonna be 1.4. So I could set it up this way. We can say X squared, which is the side, is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB times cosine of X. Now it's this cosine X, which is what we have to find. So let's just start putting in some numbers and then we'll do the rearrangement. So we know X is 1.4. X squared is gonna be 1.4 squared. A, we can just pick any one of those numbers, it's gonna be the same. So we know it's 15 plus 15 squared minus two times 15 times 15 times cosine X. So we need to isolate X at this point. So even before doing the math, we can just do some addition and subtraction here. I need to, to basically pull some terms over. So I first have to remove are the, the two 15 squares. So we do that by subtracting. So I'm gonna leave these in square notation, but we're gonna subtract 15 squared twice, okay, for each term. And that's gonna be equal to negative two times 15 times 15 times cos x. Now we have to divide by the number in front of cosine x. So cosine x, think of it like a variable. Okay, so I have to divide both sides by the numbers that you have there. So it's gonna be the negative two times 15, just like that. So this is gonna go away. We're gonna be left with cos x is equal to this item right here, okay? So if we put this into our calculator and work it down, we should get a value of around 0.9955. Now that doesn't give us the angle at this point. So to, to find the angle, we have to actually take the inverse cosine of that number, right? So that means on your calculator, you'd have to find the cosine, but the second function cosine key, you open up that function, then put in 9955, and then um, uh, push equal sign to, to calculate that function. And then you should get 
5.4 degrees. Okay, now a big uh, thing for students to watch is if you are not getting, uh, if you don't get the same answer as shown in the key, your calculator might not be set up into degree mode. So that's really important. You need to kind of check that. Degree mode is the standard mode for calculating for these types of problems. But calculate, uh, most scientific calculators have another mode called radians and then also called gradients. So you don't want to be using those because those will produce a different, um, it's a different way to measure angles and you're going to get a different value. So just make sure that your calculator um, is in degree mode. So you might have to just play around with a little bit depending on how sophisticated your calculator is. Um, chances are that's already the default mode, but um, it is possible that you could change it. All right, so that's how that question goes through.